Olá pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? Eu espero que sim. Bom, hoje o físico Nassim Haramein vai nos falar um pouco sobre o seu conceito de dimensões. Me perguntaram sobre as dimensões e se elas existem. E eu falei que existiriam as quatro dimensões. E, e as outras dimensões, Pedro? Porque ouvi falar que existem 12 dimensões. Pois é, mas essas dimensões seriam dimensões de consciência. Mas e o nosso universo? Será que ele organiza em dimensões, além da terceira e da quarta? É o que o nosso Haramein vai esclarecer para nós. Vamos ver. of dimension that's in mathematics does not apply to the universe. So, so not only is there not more dimensions than four, um, but the four dimensions they've defined are inconsistent with the way the universe works. Meaning the universe doesn't make two-dimensional Cartesian surfaces or You know, it does not make vectors in space. It doesn't do any of this stuff. In fact, time is probably not fundamental to the structure of space. Um, time is a concept of man, right? Because uh, without memory, there is no time, right? If you can't remember anything past the second that you're experiencing, You wouldn't have a concept of time. So um, if the universe has time, then it's just because it has memory in its space, meaning that information is embedded on the structure of space so that there's a, there appears to be an evolution of information along what we call a timeline. But that's a concept in our head. That's not necessarily the way the universe experiences it. The universe experiences it as information in space, right? So, um, so, so that's one thing. So, so to me, um, to me, uh, dimensions are only scalar in nature, meaning, um, and I mean that in terms of scales, uh, uh, meaning that like, so imagine this, um, imagine you experience, you were talking about a worm or a bird, or, You know, imagine that you experience the world as a particle, like a, a proton or an electron. Um, your world would look very specific. You know, you, you would see the world from a very perspe a specific perspective. And if I took you as an electron, let's say, and grew you to a human being all of a sudden, you would probably think, that you've changed dimensions. And I'm talking about the more, you know, spiritual dimensions idea of another world. Like, you would think you've changed world, right? You, you, it would look completely different, right? You, and so, and, and so um, did you change world? No, you just changed scale. You're in the same world, right? But you... You just change scale. So like the, the perspective of a galaxy on its environment is way different than the perspective of a human being on Earth, for instance, right? But they're in the same world. They're in the same dimension. They're in the, you know? So, um, so there's only a change in scales of awareness. So at different scale of awareness, you get different perspective, a different world appears to you. But, but, but those are always embedded within each other so that from any perspective, you can go to any other perspective, right? And so, um, so I think that, um, so I, it's a long way to answer your question. But I'm very leery of any statement of multiple dimensions, maybe multiple scales of awareness, you know, multiple 
experience of the universe, right? Um, from different perspective. But I don't think that the universe has this kind of separation where you got a dimension here and a dimension there and all this stuff and they're all different from each other. Um, I don't think that actually exists. I, I think all these uh, concepts are, are really poor approximation of humans. Bom pessoal, esse vídeo foi maravilhoso, nos dá um entendimento muito melhor do funcionamento do universo e nos mostra como tudo está muito mais próximo da gente do que a gente imagina, que no universo existem diferenças energéticas, diferenças de níveis, porém tudo está no mesmo plano e apenas os nossos olhos que não podem ver. Eu agradeço a todos vocês que participam aqui do canal, um grande abraço, a gente se vê na próxima e até mais!